I got a phone call sometime in late December of 1989. Lab Mono gave me a call and said, McCluskey, I need a coach. So it was January 1st, 1990. I was late for the first meeting because I'd never heard that there was an orientation meeting to start. By the time I got here, Eastern Arizona College hired a kid with absolutely no resume, no experience, and took a big chance on me. We started out coaching softball and working in the Wellness Center, and it has just been amazing the time that we've spent here at EAC. The amount of kids that go through the, this college, the kids that come through Eastern Arizona College are just the greatest students on campus. Um, and then I look at the amount of kids that have come through softball, and you go back and you kind of get a smile. <laughs> A smile on your face sometimes when you, you look at kids, where they go on, the families they create, the educations they come up with, and you just get a big, big grin knowing that you've done something right. Graduation is my absolute favorite day of the year. You get to see parents and kids who weren't expecting to graduate and maybe didn't even have a clue when they got here, but, but by the time they leave, they've got it all together and they're ready to move on to the next level. And EAC is just a family atmosphere. It's treated me as if I'm one of their own for going on 24 years now. It's been a great pleasure and anybody who knows anything about Eastern Arizona College probably feels the exact same way. The administration makes it so in my softball program that we are absolutely the same as any, every other program on campus. I've worked for three athletic directors, Lad Molino, who to me is a man among men, Chuck Lavetter, who is an icon here at Eastern Arizona College, and I'm hoping to finish up with Jim Bagnell here, as, who is one of the absolute best athletic directors I've ever worked for. But EAC has given me the opportunity to grow as a person. Some people think of a job as a job and a daily grind. I, I smile every day to go to work to the Wellness Center and see the same people I've seen for the last 20 years. It's, it's amazing that the people that come up, we still shake hands. Uh, we talk about everything that's going on. You know, it's just, this is not a job to me, this is fun. EAC softball is at a point in their career right now that right now we're, we're actually getting ready for the Region 1 playoffs. And uh, we're, we're in a situation to where we could easily win this thing or we could easily go out in the first round. But um, it's a great little team. We've got good players, we've got kids that are recognized, kids that are transferring out. And EAC has put so much effort in student achievement and academics and has offered students every opportunity to succeed. And our softball program just goes hand in hand with that. We get kids who come here and they have no idea, first generation student, nobody in their family's ever graduated and they're, they're finally getting their credits together and they are getting to graduation and they're able to transfer and th those kids are the ones that make it all worthwhile. It's not the ones that come in with the great goals, knowing what they're gonna do, it's the ones that haven't got a clue and when they succeed it, succeed and get to graduation day and get transferred on. That would only be possible in a place that actually wants to treat their students as family. Out of 24 years of softball, we're averaging about 20 kids a year, it's, it's been an absolutely fantastic trip. I am Kate McCluskey and I'm proud to be a fighting Gila Monster. <laughs>